Hey everybody, Cole here with Classic Mini DIY and on today's episode we are going to be tackling a small job on the Tacoma and replacing our tweeter speakers for some nicer high quality ones from DS18. So stay tuned for that. Now, as I mentioned, on today's episode, we are going to be working on the Toyota Tacoma. Now, for those of you who might be members of Tacoma World, the forum online, it's a really great place to get all sorts of great information about the Toyota Tacoma. I think about two years ago, I posted a forum post that showed how to replace your tweeter speakers on your Toyota Tacoma with a plug and play swap that's made by Subaru. Weirdly enough, the Subaru tweeters were a direct replacement for the factory Toyota ones, and the factory Toyota ones are, there's no other way to put it, literally just garbage. They are awful speakers. I can't even believe that they rolled off the assembly line with them. Now, this is in reference to the stock stereo system that's in most models of the Tacoma, and this is not specifically referring to the JBL setup. Now, the Subaru speakers did not have a direct swap for the JBL speaker setup that was on the Toyota Tacoma. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to replace those with an even nicer set of OEM, what I call OEM Plus speakers that will pop right into the original place and you can plug them in with literally no modification. Now, these speakers are made by a great company called DS18. They make a huge array of speakers for various different applications, but these ones are actually made as an OEM Plus upgrade for your factory speakers. You can see here that they come with the actual tabs on them to mount into the original spots, so there's not really any drilling required. You just need to pop off the covers and put these in. Now in this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, and if you guys wanna pick up a set of these speakers, I also posted the link to these in the description below. These are a dramatic improvement over the factory Toyota speakers, and they are also a substantial upgrade from the Subaru speakers that are currently in my truck, and that most people use to replace these. The best part though is that they are extremely affordable and is not gonna break the bank to really dramatically improve the sound quality in your truck. So let's get the truck into the garage and we will get it all taken apart. It's not a whole lot of work, which is pretty cool. And I'll show you guys how to do this. Now the install method is pretty much the same on both sides. I'm gonna show you guys that on the passenger side, since there is a big handle here, it's a little bit different. On the driver's side, there is one just little plate up here that says SRS airbag on it, and that is the plate that pops off that has a screw behind it. But to get your old speaker out, it really is as simple as loosening up this plate right here. Um, this is going to kind of pop off and go out of the way, and then we're gonna take this cover off here. Now, it's all plastic bits, so you're gonna to wanna to take care not to actually damage any of the plastic clips, because, well, when you've damaged one of those clips, the panels don't click back into place and it ends up having little vibrations, which are super irritating if you haven't experienced that before. Now, first thing we gotta do is pop the covers off of this right here. And the way I usually like to do that is with a little nylon pry tool. Um, this is gonna prevent you from having any damage to your um, plastic trimming. Um, it's just gonna keep things looking nice. And then, like any good imported car, they have a 10 millimeter bolt. These both come out, it's very simple. All right, and once those are undone, it's very simple. You just pop this panel off, just like this, and it should kind of pop out of the way. You're just gonna wanna set it off to the side, taking care not to scratch it. If you're interested, this is actually your side curtain airbag, well, one of them, um, pretty interesting stuff. 
If you're ever running a dash cam or something like that, it is really important not to cover these lines up because you want that to be able to deploy safely. But in this case, we're not doing anything like that. We're just gonna come down here and pop our little plastic cover off. Again, I use my pry tool for just about everything I can. Now, one thing you might find is depending on the model of your truck, you might have a little automatic light sensor right here. Um, this is what determines and helps it figure out, you know, what the uh, lighting is outside and turn your headlights on and off. So you're probably gonna have to unclip that if you do have one. Now we are going to get to actually loosening up the old speaker. Now for the speaker, it is also a 10 millimeter bolt, but you are probably going to need a shorter socket to get this out just because of the windshield. So I usually like to loosen these up and then you should be able to undo it the rest of the way by hand. Um, and that should come out pretty easily. Now it appears I spoke a little too soon. We actually need a regular wrench for this bolt back here, just because of how low the windshield is up at the front. Now, before we put the new speaker in, I am gonna show you guys just the difference between the, even the kicker speakers that came from the Subaru um, and the new speaker that we're gonna be putting in. I wanna show you guys, this right here is the kicker speaker. This is the Subaru replacement that I bought ages ago for my uh, Tacoma. Now this replaces the original, literally it's like paper mache tweeter that came out of the Tacoma. I do not have those anymore. They're not even worth selling. They just went straight in the trash. But you can see this is what the kicker speaker looks like. This is their tweeter. And it's an all right speaker. Like it was definitely a pretty substantial upgrade over stock. Now that, we'll set that aside here. So then we have the DS18 speaker, which you can see is a very, very nice looking speaker. Um, it has the foam ring around it, so it doesn't vibrate, doesn't cause any issues. It has the original tabs for the OEM mounts. And then the driver itself, which is what this, I think the magnet on the back is called, um, is substantially larger. It's very, very thick, it's heavier. This speaker here is almost probably double the weight of this kicker speaker, which means it's probably four times the weight of the actual original tweeter. And this is going to outperform this kicker speaker, but it's also gonna outperform your stock tweeter. Um, so with that comparison out of the way, let's go ahead and put this into the car. And I'm telling you all, it's so simple. This connector right here is the factory connector. And you can see the kicker speaker also has that factory connector. And all you have to do is boop, plug it right in and mount it up. Really straightforward. So let's jump back in the truck and I'll show you. Now for this process, it genuinely is so easy. You literally just plug it up into place. Um, the only bit of advice I would give you is that it's super important that you don't drop bolts down um, into the space below your, uh, your dash there because they will rattle around and it's super irritating to get those out. Um, but you literally plug it in, set it back in there, use your original two 10 millimeter bolts and we'll go ahead and put those back in as well and you're pretty much done. You just gotta repeat the exact same process on the other side. All right, and so that really wraps up this whole install. Like I said, it is super simple to get an incredible improvement out of your speaker system. Um, I really wanted to show you guys a comparison. However, this microphone just does not do a great job of picking up that kind of um, fully complete audio sound from a new set of speakers. And this is one of those things that, you know, is better heard in person, you know? Um, but anyways, these are the old kicker speakers. Uh, these are just gonna be going back into my parts bin, probably donate them to a friend. Something else that I do wanna mention as well is that the kit that comes from DS18 actually comes with two pigtails fully terminated already. Um, this is in the event that you have some sort of special audio system. Maybe you wanna wire these into something where it used to have some aftermarket tweeters. Maybe it only has the stock ones now, who knows? These are included though, just in case you need them. Now, if you guys have any questions about this install, feel free to post those in the comment section below. Now, don't forget that I mentioned that the links to these speakers are actually in my description below. There is a very, very high likelihood that I am going to be upgrading the speakers in the rest of my car to a DS18 upgraded set of speakers. And I will, of course, bring you guys along on that update when I do that on the truck. 
But I wanna say a huge thank you to DS18 for sending these speakers out, and I wanna say a huge thank you to you guys for watching this episode. But until I see you guys on the next one, enjoy those minis, I guess, and Tacomas, and motor on. See you later, guys.